kiss for you. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Welcome back to my another video on Android app development. And so, guys, this will be the part four of my video series on audio video calling app using Firebase in Android Studio. All right, guys. So now we will start working on our project. And today we are going to write the code for our main activity. And for this, first of all, we will add all the uh, drivers which we are going to use in our project. So before wasting any time, let's go to my folder and here i will just uh, copy have all these and i will paste in my project and, and for all of you guys i have uh, uh, you can find the link in this video description i have or added all these folders so you can go and download all these folders okay so i will just copy it and i will click on drivable i will go to show in explorer and here i will paste them so here we will replace and now we have all the uh, drivers required for our application so now we will go to our main activity.xml and here first of all we have to use the relative layout and then here we are going to remove our text view and also let me just lower the font size so here let just it be 15 and here first of all we are going to use an image view so for this we can say image view match parent and for the height we will set it at 300 dp and we can set the id of it as image view then we can say source and the source one will be drivable start img and we can say margin top it will be around 30 dp all right and then we are going to use the color so first of all we have to specify our color primary color uh, primary dark and so on so for this first of all here we can say color primary uh, color color primary and the primary color which we are going to use is of yellow color d5c11d and for the color primary dark we are going to use f3 da05 all right so now here we have can use the background as color primary so it will be of color yellow and then we are here going to okay so now we are going to use another uh, relative layout and inside that uh, relative layout we are going to use the linear layout and for the linear layout inside it we will be using the two buttons so here first of all we can say relative layout and it's let me write the its height and uh, width and height to be match parent and then we can set it like r r i d as r r one and we can say we have to place it below the image view okay so here we have this image view and here let me just remove it and inside this relative layout i am going to use the linear layout so for the linear layout we have to use uh, linear layout match parent and wrap content sorry and for the linear layout uh, i have to write center in parent it will be true because we want the buttons to be in the center of this uh, linear layout so after this we have to provide the orientation and the orientation will be vertical so inside this linear layout we are going to use the buttons so first of all we will have uh, the button one for the login so here we can say button and its width will be match parent and its height will be wrap content 
then we can say to be text it will be login and for the id we can say button login and we can say background it to be color black okay it's not uh, going to be black so we will check it okay we will check it later and then its background okay so basically its background will be black and the text color will be white and then we can say font family so the font family will be font okay i think we don't have the font right now but we will add them later so for after the font we have the layout margin and it will be 10 dp and then we have the text size it will be 20 sp all right and for the uh, for the problem that why it is not uh, be it is uh, the background of the of the button is not getting to be black so here because we are using the theme which does not support this so let me just see where is the problem so here we have theme dot material components so here we will write dot light and here we will use light dot no action bar dot bridge all right and for this here we can say color primary and then we can say color primary dark okay so now i think it will work and yes you can see that now the button color is black now all right for the for the next button we are going to use the another button here so for this we can say match parent wrap content and then we are going to use the background as black and then we can say text it to be register and we can say text color it will be white and then we can say again it margin to be 10 dp and the text size will be 20 sp so now we have the um, main activity and it is it is working fine let me remove it so all right guys so i think that is enough and right after this let me just bind all those views so in order to bind the views so we will go to our main activity and inside our main activity first of all we have to uh, okay so here we have to specify the button click so whenever the user will click on login so the user will go to the login screen and when he click on register he will go to register screen so here what we are going to do we are going to use the on click function of the uh, button knife library and inside this uh, this button we have the button login so here we can say r dot id dot button login and we can just write public void and we can uh, uh, we can uh, name it as button click login so yes so so similarly for the button register we will just write it again here and here we can say button register so here inside our main activity the we forgot to set the id is so as it so the id will be button register okay so here i have the button click register so now i think that is enough uh, yes, so now whenever the user will, will click on those 
buttons so the specific screen will be opened so we will write the the code here for in our next part of the video so guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you and goodbye